Hi guys, welcome back. It's been so long. <laughs> Today's video is going to be about signs and symptoms of milk allergies in toddlers. Um, before I start, I'm not a medical professional and it's just simple advice. Isla had a milk allergy when she was born, lucky me, but we didn't know till she was eight weeks old. So I'm going to give you a quick list of signs and symptoms. Well, signs and symptoms of the allergy in babies and toddlers. I suppose it can happen at any age. Um, so the first thing we noticed with Isla was she was constantly unsettled from <laughs> literally the minute she was born. I tried breastfeeding and it was a nightmare so I bottle fed. Well I wanted to bottle feed. Um, and I tried to bottle feed and Literally the first night in the hospital was absolute hell. It was chaos. It was a nightmare. She'd never stop crying. She'd take a wee bit of milk and then cry the whole night. So this went on from from the night she was born. So we got her home and I noticed that she was constantly fussy. She'd have a bottle and then she'd maybe settle for half an hour and then squirming, unsettled, crying. And the, I, I couldn't settle her. And I was so nervous, it's your first time, and I, I started panicking when she wouldn't stop crying. So, that was number one, was the constant squirming and upset. Number two was, she seemed to be constantly hungry. The only way I could settle her was a bottle. So it'd be a bottle, and then she'd be okay for about half an hour. And then, <laughs> it seems like, thinking back, it seems like madness. Um, I don't know how I survived honestly, I think the bottle of wine sitting in the fridge shouting my name tempted me sometimes. <laughs> so, um, uh -huh. constantly hungry, I wanted to put on hungry baby milk, maybe a week old she was, but it never, it never helped and I don't recommend it to be honest. So she was constantly hungry and that would be the only way to settle her after maybe an hour of having a feed beforehand um, and this would go on the whole night. She hardly slept. Another one would be constant diarrhoea. Now I know babies always have runny nappies all the time, um, especially when they're like newborn, but this was horrendous. This was up, <laughs> up to her neck sometimes and I remember sometimes I wouldn't even leave the house because it was so much hassle trying to get out the door with like a suitcase and a neat pack with like three changes in case she shut herself. Um, poor wee soul. The biggest one, my biggest concern was she was vomiting. Now I don't mean dribbling on top, top when you're burping, I mean projectile vomiting. It was really really scary. I think the turning point was when I put her to her bed one night and I went to turn the telly and I off another room and I come back and she was lying on her back and she vomited like it was like a fountain and I was in the house myself and I got a fright. That's when I knew there was something wrong. Oh, to think back it's like it was so hard because um, I was in the house myself and yeah that was that was the turning point. That's when I decided to go to the doctors because um, I just knew there's there's something wrong. So we had diarrhoea, very, very unsettled, constantly what well what seemed to be constant hunger and vomiting. Now it could it, honestly it'll be different signs, different symptoms in different kids. Um so we went to the doc <laughs> went to the doctors and he initially thought it would be um acid reflux, but it was me that suggested the allergy because I'd, I'd never, I don't know anybody else who's, at that point, I didn't know anybody else's whose child had an, an allergy. It's a, I think it's an allergy to the proteins inside the milk. So I, I only found it out by Googling it. Trust to, trust to Google. So I Googled it and yeah, I, I suggested it to him and he said, he initially gave me Gaviscon and then he said he'd phone the hospital and see. Um, if it could be an allergy. So he sent me away and I wasn't even home when he phoned me back and he said that it sounded very much like an allergy to the formula and to 
changer, I got a prescription um, for Aptimal Peptide and I think I think you get about, I got about six tubs of it, just wee tiny tubs but I had to order it in and <laughs> honestly, see after about the second bottle, it was like a completely bit, uh, different baby, completely different baby. She was so settled, the diarrhoea stopped, the vomiting stopped, the constant hunger and squirming stopped, it was just amazing. Honestly, and I'm so glad that I actually googled <laughs> or found the allergy thing in Google. Um, so yeah, there's there's so many diff. I'd imagine there'd be so many different signs and symptoms for different children. But and honestly, it, it mirrored the acid reflux a lot, um, and that's what the doctor th first thought it was. But if you've got any any tiny wee niggling that, that there's something wrong, go and see your doctor. It might not be an allergy, it might not be acid reflux, but it could be something. So as I said, I'm not a I'm not a medical professional, but if you have any questions, please ask, because I'd hate for another mum to go through what I went through. Honestly, like, see if she came out of seat, she would have been sent back. <laughs> it was a nightmare. And to this day, it still puts me off. But if I have another one, then... Obviously, I now know what to look for, so go and see your GP, go and ask, ask about the, the allergy. I know GPs are quite, kinda, they don't really like to give too much of a diagnosis on babies, but go and see them, honestly, it, it, could, <laughs> it could make such a difference. Um, thank you so much and I hope this helps. So if you have any questions, stick them down below and subscribe and I'll see you next week. <laughs>